Get on down! Get on up! Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I'm going to steal these curtains right quick. Steal my own curtains back from me. I haven't read any of this first aid for beginners quite yet. Uh, but I do have room to stash it in the bag. So that's what I'm going to do. Down south there seems to be uh, a settlement of sorts. So I'm going to take my wiffle ball bat and go down that way. And uh, maybe we'll find some zombies. I hope not. I hope it's completely clear. But it's, it's not going to be alive inside, they said. That's a lie. It was just me. Just me that was alive. As, uh, as we've slowly become used to. So, there seems to be a, a few zombies wandering off towards that dog. Oh, what is this building? Wow. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the uh, administration offices <clears throat> or something like that. Hmm. It's worth at least a look. Oh, this, this compass could be useful. And, uh, let's inspect it, or... Oh, yeah, open compass. Alright. So now I know which way's which. Ain't that nice. Alright, dead. Good. Excellent. 101st episode of Project Zomboid, starting off nice. Killing lots of zombies, just as it should be. Get the fuck out of here. Lay down! That's right. Empty notebook. I don't need any of that. This is north. So I guess it was, uh, northwest. No, it was southwest. No, it was northwest. Yeah, the farm was in the northwest. <laughs> okay, so east or southeast from this lumber mill. There seems to be a town on the map, so I'm gonna explore that just a little bit. But first I want to see what's in this fucking building. What mysteries do you hold? There's there's so many zombies out here. There was no zombies on the farm. Basically nothing on the farm except for a bunch of stuffed animals and stuff. Which I wanted to take with me. And I probably should have. If there was a Spiffo there, I would have uh, at least grabbed him up. Saved him from himself. This is definitely uh, administration for the lumber mill. Box of crayons. That's... <laughs> About what I'd expect to find in the boss's office. Yeah, you do these spreadsheets. I'm gonna sit here in color. Oh, maybe it's a school. Eraser, lipstick. Oh my god, that girl was so posh. And now she's dead. That's amazing. Doesn't seem like there's gonna be much much for me here in the lumber mill school. Oh god damn it. But it's raining. I don't want to get sick. Maybe I can find a garbage bag. Y'all got the trash can? Sure do. Make a rain poncho. That's gonna be real nice. And, uh, oh no, not primary. What the fuck? What the fuck? I was busy with my wiffle ball bat. Oh, and now it seems to have taken damage because I unequipped it. What the fuck? I don't understand. Somebody explain to me. What does it all mean? Alright, we need to get rid of just a little bit of weight. Try and slip this kitchen knife into something. There we go. And uh, obviously, yeah, I'm riding the weight limit. But um, I'm trying not to let that stop my natural curiosity. I really do want to explore. And uh, see all of what this town has to offer. Because staying in the same spot forever, nope, it's not going to work for me. Never has, never will. Thanks, Mom. Who moved me every three years to a new school, so I had to learn how to interact with people and fucking make friends, new friends all the time. Oh, that was the lamest. The lamest, dude. Now we're damp. That rain poncho didn't help at all. <laughs> God damn. I think this is the way to the town. I hope that I can get there before I uh, catch my death, as they say. How many times does it take uh, getting completely soaked to the bone before you just like drop dead from pneumonia or something like that? I don't have that much experience out in the rain, obviously. Being from California, it's like 
rains once a year or some shit like that. In Project Zomboid, it seems to rain every couple days, which is good for uh, watering crops, but not so good if you want to go places and do things and meet people, which is uh, something that I just said I hate about a second ago. <laughs> I don't really. Or else I wouldn't do it. Or else I'd just sit down and play video games for myself. But I enjoy uh, talking. Letting my mind wander and then uh, people sometimes comment on the weird things that I'm I'm wondering about, spurging out about, something like that. Yes, that's how it goes. Let me tell you this. Um, I don't know where that town is. Here's a, an intersection in the road. Oh, and a little pit stop area. This could be nice, couldn't it? Or this is just like, merge into this lane? Okay. I'm merging! Beep beep! I actually merged the wrong way. Should be driving on the right side of the road. For it is the correct side of the road! Well, the rain poncho seems to be helping a bit with, uh, not completely getting soaked, but... Yeah, I gotta find somewhere to go. I gotta find somewhere to go before I'm completely fucked. Let's finish off this MRE. It's a little bit of hunger. But it'll do! I already used the uh, the heating packet to warm up my spaghetti and meatballs, and then I just had some applesauce and a cigarette left. <laughs> so I smoked that. Smoked the applesauce and ate the cigarette. That's what I did. And it was delicious, and I wouldn't change a thing. God damn. I don't know where I am. I'm completely lost now. Hold on. I don't know if this map is completely accurate or not. I'm just running around in the rain like a fucking, fucking wild man. I don't understand. Well, if worse comes to worse, then we'll end up back at, uh, some sort of civilization. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be the base quite yet, but, uh, we'll get somewhere. And hopefully I won't get completely soaked while doing so. I should have fucking brought, um, anything with me, basically. <laughs> A bath towel would have been a really good idea. But when you're when you're getting ready to go out on the road, it's just such a pain in the ass deciding what to bring, what to leave, things like this. Oh, there's uh, something over there. A parking lot of sorts. So not the town I was looking for, but... Oh, it's the gas station, is it? Is this the one I visited before? Apparently not. There's a fuck ton of zombies out here. Well... Let's uh, get inside. I can get rid of some of this exertion real quick. That'd be nice. They have a place to sit besides the toilet. They don't let you sit on the toilet. Oh, there's a zombie in there. <laughs> oh, there's a zombie in there. Goodbye. Anywhere else? No. There's nothing. It's so sad. And now that zombie was uh, awakened. Since I opened the door. Oh well. Too late for you. Also too late for me. How am I going to get this exertion away? Ah. Fart burger. Well, lots of gas cans. I don't really need any of that. Some propane and propane accessories. Oh boy. That's exciting. Moldra map. West Point map. At least I'm dry. That's a, a small victory. So what do you do when you're dry? Go get wet again. Hooray! Y'all like to get wet? And it looks like there's uh, signs here. They're unreadable. <laughs> but that's okay. Is it still raining? I think the rain has stopped officially, so I'll get my, uh, my sweater back on. Oh, I gotta stop moving to do so. Here we go. You can change your fucking clothes while you're while you're moving. That's not so hard. Come on. Come on, little day in. Come on. Believe in yourself. The rusty rifle. Hell yeah, boy. Sounds like my kind of place. Little dive bar over here. Oh, pool table. Oh, mini fridge. Wow. Y'all got the setup, huh? 
Is this a, a chalkboard or something? No. It's where you keep the pool cues. I was hoping to write something on the chalkboard. Dayton was here. Just so everybody knows, I was. Oh, these fucking dogs. Okay, they're done for now, I guess. Really difficult to tell where I am on the map, if you want me to be completely honest. Had a little look while the dogs were going ape shit over there. And uh, I can't find the rusty rifle. Oh god. Well, I guess I'll have to beat the shit out of this lady. There you go. Exertion didn't do me too bad on that one. Good. I'm not so exerted. Well, this is like a... an inn of sorts? <clears throat> That's quite nice. Let's get rid of this exertion. Have a little lie down in the car. There we go. Well enough. All well and good. But my character lost his beard somewhere along the way. I guess malnutrition uh, will ravage the body in such a manner that your beard falls out. Body's like, I ain't got enough protein to keep making this fucking beard, dude. I'm like, alright, that's fine. Just just do what comes natural, alright? You wanna you wanna just make toenails or whatever the fuck? The body makes so many, like, dumb shit. So many dumb shit. So much dumb crap that we don't need. What's the point of facial hair? Why I got all this facial hair? Keep me warm? I got AC, son. I don't need this shit no more. <laughs> really, uh, air conditioning is over. Love is over. Everything is over. The world is over. Well, it was nice visiting you, Rusty Rifle. <clears throat> Surprisingly, the sign still on. Fascinating. Maybe I could, uh, continue down this way. No. Nope. End of the road. Fuck, that bitch freaked me out a little bit. Freak a leak! Now your head is leaking. Cause she had a glass eye. It rolled out of her head. And that's the only reason I knew. It looks so realistic. It probably wouldn't be like frosted over, you know? Like a lot of zombies got uh, weird looking eyes and shit like that. God damn, I have no idea where I am. Such a bad place to be. I could just keep wandering the road and uh, hope that it takes me somewhere, but I don't know if I'm actually going to find a place to rest before nightfall. Like I said, two or three is when I start thinking about such things, and uh, it's already 2.20, 2.30, so I guess, I guess we'll roll the dice. How far can I possibly get in an hour, right? Huh? Anybody? That's right, pretty fucking far. <laughs> I could regret this decision immensely. Oh, but it seems like there's a, a smattering of things along this road. Let's try up here. We'll go back to the main road, probably. Yep. Not a fucking thing on this path. I don't understand. I don't understand anything anymore. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice house. It's got a big old fence on it. It's a trailer park? Hmm. Pretty nice trailer park y'all got here. Oh my. Where's the zombie? Oh, over there. Don't be scared of that, Dayton. We've been through some shit before. Alright. Nothing to be scared of out here. We could have a little rest in the lawn chair if we want. I'll go to sleep in the lawn chair. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's probably the dumbest idea I've ever had. But it would be bold. Bold and daring. That guy's gonna start knocking on the window. Asshole! Asshole! Some more nails? Can we fit more nails? Sure we can. Strawberry seeds. I want some of them too. And I think I ate all of my MRE. Let's see what this place got to eat. Y'all got some food? Oh god. Y'all got a bitch banging on the window? Hey, let me in here! No. I don't know you. Um, hello? Can we move away from the window, please? I only have a wiffle ball bat, but I don't want to break the window with my wiffle ball bat. That's just a fun thing to say. Wiffle ball bat. A bat for a wiffle ball, which I don't think I've ever played. 
I don't I don't know what the fuck wiffle ball is. Wow, they don't have much at all in here. Um I was hoping to find a fridge or something like that. Seems that is not to happen. So let's eat some, some jarred watermelon. Mmm mmm. That is good. Let me tell you something about that. That's good. We got a couple more jars with lids. And another bitch banging on the door somewhere. This is uh not my favorite place. Hey buddy. Man bitch. There you go. Get on down. Get on down! Get on up! Hup! Hup! Get on up! Wow, it seems like there's a lot of goodies around here. Can I get over this fence? Probably. It's not so tall. Hmm. Seems to be a warehouse of sorts. With a vending machine outside. Because you know those warehouse workers. They ain't got time in the morning. They're like, I'm gonna fucking get to work. I'll get get a honey bun out of the vending machine. That's how it was when I was uh, in the Navy. Like, I ain't got time for breakfast. I get a honey bun. <laughs> Let's drink some of this. Ah, uh, drink the Red Bull. Leave the monster, because that's just disgusting. <laughs> Neither of them are sponsors, but I do pick favorites. Monster's actually not that bad. I think Rockstar is probably the worst one of them all. But even that, uh, I can get behind it. I'll drink it if I if I ain't got no other choice. I'm pretty laid back as far as energy drinks go. Really, I'd prefer like Coca-Cola, something like that. Red Bull first, then Coca-Cola, then uh, all those other shits. Sodas and energy drinks all go under those two. Them's my favorites. If you try to come at me with a fucking Pepsi, I will slap you in the mouth. <laughs> That's not a joke. This is not a joke. I'm completely serious. I, I I don't like it. It's dirt water. You know what it is about Pepsi? It's just not as carbonated. Coke has a massive amount of carbonation, and it fucking burns my throat, and I love that shit. But uh, Pepsi's like, yeah. Pour it in a cup, leave it around for 30 minutes, which I tend to do because I don't drink all my uh, beverages immediately like some kind of fucking cookie monster. Cokey monster. <laughs> and if you leave a Pepsi around for 30 minutes, that shit is going to taste horrible when you go back to it. It's flat, it's disgusting, it's like uh, I just left the, the bottle open all night, which I didn't. I'm very meticulous about this, and uh, yeah makes me feel bad. I don't like it none too much. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Pepsi, if you're listening, fuck you! That's how I feel. That's how I feel about that. You could eat a little bit of this MRE. We're just barely scraping by on weight. Oh, there's a whole box of MREs. God oh, damn it. Okay. I'll get rid of some of this canned goods because the box of MREs is way more valuable you want me to be quite honest. Chocolate? I'm gonna eat this. Sure. Whatever. Uh, canned soup you can also get out of here. I still don't think I have- oh yeah I do. That canned soup was heavier than I thought. Good. Now I got another box of MREs. Fuck yeah bro. I hear a zombie somewhere. I'm going to find you. Or you're going to find me. But I hope that we find each other, uh, pleasing or something like that. We can help each other out. You cannot fight me, and I can send you to uh, a nice death. You know, you've been wandering around like a corpse for so long, and I'm just gonna do the nice thing, put you out of your misery, with my wiffle ball bat! Wiffle ball bat! Wiffle ball bat! Oh god. Get away. Get away! I don't trust you. Get down. Can you hear that car alarm outside? I can just barely hear it. I don't know if it's going to get picked up on the mic. Probably just a little bit. And uh, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't notice it at all. So I'm an a-hole for pointing it out. Thanks, Dayton. I think it stopped already. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. 
It's my sexy body, whatever. I'm trying to clear this place out. And I'm quite unsure why. I guess to level up uh, blunt accuracy. That's a good, as good a reason as any. I'm gonna keep this compass open up in the corner. Just so I don't ever get confused on which way that I'm going. Oh, we could level blunt maintenance. I will do that. Wondrous. Wondrous well! And sprinting is just gonna take fucking forever to level. There's no door on this? Are you kidding me? Hey, buddy. I'm over here. Don't bang on that window. That's not your house. You don't live here. I live here. At least, uh, for tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna settle down somewhere in here. Once we find a place that I, I deem suitable. Messenger bag. Hmm. I really don't think bags reduce the weight of something that much. I mean, yes, it's harder to carry shit in your arms. That's a given. But a bag reducing the weight of something? No, that's not gonna happen. It's just putting the weight on your back where it's slightly easier to carry. Right? Am I right? Am I fucking crazy about this? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. A bit of twine. Mm, I keep the twine in the other bag. We are fucking packed. Packed as packed could be. That rain poncho weighs uh one pound. But I kind of like to keep it on me just in case. Just in case something goes terribly. While I'm walking home, it starts raining. It seems to happen every single fucking time. So I keep. I keep! This is mine now. There's the, the male's restroom and the female's restroom. Where's the transgender restroom? I identify as a dragon kin. Hey, bitch. What are you doing? Standing in the corner? Why don't you do your job, huh? Think they pay you to just stand here and look at the corner? Another key? We are up to 20 now. Da 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 da! Achievement for 20 keys! I think they should add some achievements to this game. But, nope, first, uh, get to work on all that, um, vehicles and NPCs and all that shit they've been talking about for years. NPCs, I found out, were actually implemented for a while, and then for some reason they got taken away. I guess because, uh, they weren't completely up to snuff. Which I guess I can appreciate. Indie Stone trying to do the best work possible. They're like, oh, people people need better NPCs. Oh god. I knew you were out there. I just didn't think you'd be so close. Ugh. Oh, fuck people, let me tell you. Let me tell you about these fuck people, huh? Now it's 6.30. I kind of want to keep exploring. It's not like, um, I can fit much more in my bag, but it is nice to see some new places. I know the, the town that we live in like the back of my hand, but this place, this place is a fucking mystery. It's, it's so full of wonder. Oh... Here's the, uh, other warehouse. They got... Ooh, looks like, uh, American flag. Some patriotism over here. I wanna sleep under the American flag. Not under it like it's, uh, a blanket or something. Is that something a dirty homeless hippie will do? Oh god. Don't do that. I'm over here. I'm getting pretty good at luring these zombies. Making them do what I want to do. They are quite brainless. I think that's why the zombie apocalypse wouldn't get so far. Because, one, everybody fucking knows about zombies. We would identify that shit in no time at all. And two, um, yeah, like I said, zombies just fucking dumb. Dumb as shit! There's some bath towels in here, adhesive bandage. I don't have any room for an adhesive bandage. It weighs point one. Come on, dude. I need to fit all these things together. Oh, oh, eh. Whatever, I put this in my inventory. Then I can fit my bandage and keep all the bandages together. That's how it should be. So full on weight. Oh my god. I feel so dumb for coming out this way. So far. <laughs> 
But, uh, no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. We're getting to know our city. I wonder if there's something else up this way. I realize that it's almost 8 o'clock, which is normally my bedtime. But there's so many houses and goodies and things to explore. Look at all this. And there's so many fucking zombies as well. That ain't good. Nobody like that. I'm gonna go over this way. I'll, I'll stay in this nondescript house. Hopefully the zombies won't know I'm in there. Because it's discreet. Um, don't chop the tree. Chop the zombie. In his stupid brain. There you go! Excellent. I'll probably have to put up some sheets as well in the bedroom. I don't see any, uh... Any curtains. At least not through the windows. Yeah, one sheet will do. One sheet will do just fine. Where did I put them? Uh, drop one. Yes. Okay. Now pick up one. Jesus. How convoluted. Okay. You should just know that the sheet is on the floor and be like, Oh, you want, you want me to add that to the window? I will do just that. Anyways, friends, almost bedtime. We made it just in time. We're definitely in the uh, in the shit now. Probably explore a few more houses, see if there's anything that I can't live without. But uh, we will start heading back home, at least that way, in the next couple episodes. This has been Project Zomboid, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Help the channel to get out there. Aim for some world domination, or at least a thousand subs. That would be really nice. <laughs> I appreciate anything that you can do. Even just watching the episode does help, because uh, YouTube is apparently looking at how long people watch the video. So those spam commenters that, like, watch for two seconds, post the comment, and click away, I shake my fist at them. I shake my fist at them quite heartily! But you, if you watch this far, you're the fucking one. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next episode, friends. Thanks so much for watching once more, and until then, friends, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.